Are you committed? Mm. Or are you single? What about me? Mm. I don't know. Do you want to share about your love life with me? If you have to share with me, please write it in the comments. But if you want to share about your love life with other people around you, then please learn some phrases with me. This is my lesson and I am Michelle. <laughs> Let's start with the first very few phrases. But before that, uh, do you know what is the meaning of significant other? No. So let me help you and tell you some words that you can use with your partner or the person you are with. You can call them baby. I'm sure you already do that. There's another very trending word that you can use and that is babe. Also, if you want to talk about them to others, what will you say? You can say, my beloved or my significant other and the last one, if you want to talk about them, you can say, my soulmate. You've got a new caption for your Facebook picture. Have you? This one? That put a picture with your bae and say that he or she is my soulmate. Right, so let's start with the phrases now. Go out with somebody. Do you know the meaning of dating? Dating means that when you meet a person again and again and slowly starts between you two some romantic bubbles that's what dating means and when you go out with that someone it's same as dating we can also call it as to see somebody i'm seeing natasha or i'm seeing mike that will also mean the same thing go out with someone or see someone I'm going out with Natasha these days and it's amazing. That's how you can use it. Whirlwind romance. What's whirlwind? Have you ever heard about it? No? Do you know about what a cyclone is? Yes. It comes as very, 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 very fast and then it stops. That's what whirlwind romance is. It starts off with full passion and with a lot of energy, but by the time it stops, it's so slow and they break up. So I have this friend Rachel who started seeing Tom. However, hers was a whirlwind romance because it started last summers and by the last winters, they had already broken up. So sad, they were not together. So that's a whirlwind romance, something that starts with a lot of energy and ends in a bad way. To be set up. To be set up is, has any of your friend made you meet your boyfriend? If yes, then that is what to be set up is. Tom set up John with Marie and Tom, uh, John is very thankful to Tom. Why? Because Tom made John and Marie meet. So has any of your friend made you meet your girlfriend? If do, if yes, then tell me in the comments about your story. It'll be fun to read about it. To be serious. Are we trying to be very serious in this video? Mm, no. This video talks about dating, which is a lot of fun and a lot of excitement and a lot of happiness. This serious means that if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend and you're seeing them, then you both want to marry each other also. That's what being serious means. To marry each other. Now, Tom and Marie that I told you about, they're both planning to marry. So, you know, they're very serious about each other. Yes. And who set them up? John. To have chemistry. Ah, chemistry. <gasps> Please, I hate chemistry and I never remember the periodic table. No, not that chemistry. Chemistry here means 
a good bond to gel very well with each other and to like each other very much. That's what chemistry is. So uh, Tom and Murray, they have a great chemistry because there has never been an awkward silence with them. So if you go out with someone, you're seeing someone, and you both are quiet most of the time, and you're not talking, and the things are not going so well, you don't have anything in common, you don't even laugh together. That's sad, right? So then you should know that probably you don't have a chemistry with that person, which is slightly sad. But if you do spend a great time together and you laugh and you enjoy, maybe you love watching movie, both of you, and you have similar common interests, then you have a great chemistry. Good to go. To hit it off, what is that? That also has the same meaning, like to have chemistry. It has the same meaning. Have chemistry. I know it's a secret that you hit off really well with that new employee in your office. Hmm. Are you hiding it? I know it already. <laughs> so you hit it off with that lady. You get along very well with her. You have a very good chemistry with her. Oh my God, the sad part. Are we coming to it? I know nobody wants to come to this end, but in some relationships, it happens that when two people are together or when they are going out with each other, they have to break up for different reasons. You know, girls have different reasons, strange reasons for breaking up with boys. Being a girl, I know that. They can break up with somebody just because they watch football all the time. But it's okay, they feel neglected. So. That's one way. That's one reason for breaking up, for ending the relationship. To break it off, boys also have weird reasons. His girlfriend likes shopping a lot so he can break it off with her. Is that justified? No. That also has the same meaning. To end a relationship. Stalker. What is that? Somebody who never leaves you, who is always after you. So, my friend's ex-boyfriend, he keeps stalking her. Wherever she goes, out with her friends, he always comes beside her, comes behind her and, you know, tries to find out what she's doing. And that's very irritating and I don't think a very good thing to do. So beware. Having a long-distance relationship. I'll write this for you. To follow. To follow somebody. It's usually said that long-distance relationships are not successful. But I don't have that opinion. And if you want to know my opinion, this, then stay till the end of the video. I'll tell you why. I think they're very successful. <laughs> Long distance relationship means a, a relationship where both the partners are really far apart physically. One is in, uh, in, another, in another country or in another street, a state, and the other person is also in another area or another place. That's what it means. To have a lot of baggage, that means to carry something from your previous relationship, to carry a lot of memories or problems maybe from your previous relationship. Problems from previous relationship. So my friend Cindy, she has a lot of baggage from her previous relationship and that is because her divorce is still underway and it has not yet been completely accepted by the court and there are other problems that she has from her previous relationship. That's the reason she is not ready to start another relationship because she has a lot of baggage. The last one, on again, off again, on again, off again. Are we talking about switches? Light switches? Yes, something like that. So you are in a relationship and you're not in a relationship. It keeps happening. You come back and you go back. So you can say to that friend of yours who keeps going and coming back from her boyfriend that you should decide now that whether or not you want to finally be with your on again or off again boyfriend or girlfriend. Something that starts and a start and stops. 
So my opinion about a long distance relationship, I think they are very successful. There's a saying that absence makes the heart grow fonder. And I think that's true. When a person is far away from you, you love them even more. So I'm leaving this saying for all the people who are in a long distance relationship. You can use that with your way now. Absence. makes the heart grow fonder. Do you agree with it? I'm sure you do. And if you're missing your partner, then you sure will agree. Thank you so much. It was, I had a really great time teaching you this fun learning lesson and I hope you had a great time too. I'm going to see you very soon with another interesting lesson. Till then, you have a great time with your partner and miss her or miss him. Bye-bye. Take care.